Hi hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all Army Man games for the PlayStation 2. Army Man Sarge's Heroes 2 is the sequel to the PS1 game, and also the next gen version of the other PS1 game. The game is bad, and let me tell you why. In the game you play as the green toy soldiers that get teleported into the real world. Here they fight off the 10 soldiers. Each level is preceded and succeeded by a cutscene. The environments are nice, and the weapons you wield are cool too. You get to use sniper rifles, grenade launchers, bazookas, mortars. The controls on the other hand are clunky, and the auto aim in the game misses half of the time. And even if you get into first person and manage to target with the bad controls, there are still enough invisible barriers that even if you were to aim well, the bullet still wouldn't always hit the mark. But that's the least of your problems, it gets worse. The checkpoint system is what makes the game annoying. See, in the game, when you fight waves of enemies, after each wave, you get a health boost. But if you manage somehow to die, no matter where in the level, you get restarted from the beginning of it. And some levels can even take you half an hour to finish. So if you die, you are going to repeat that half hour. This is the biggest downside in the game. Luckily, the game is kinda easy, but when it happens, it's still frustrating. But wait, there's more. There are some levels where your own brain that teammates shoot you, making things more difficult than they should be. Gameplay wise, even if the game tries to spice things up, it still feels repetitive. Sure, you get multiple playable characters, but they all feel the same. You get mission objectives like protecting something or search and destroy stuff, but even if the purpose sounds different, you kinda do the same thing. Overall, the game, while playable, is frustrating and buggy. I consider it a bad game. Army Man Air Attack 2 is a short but enjoyable game. Compared to the PS1 version, the graphics aren't all that big of a difference. There are no new effects, the game seems to be just an upscale version with cleaner textures. The gameplay isn't that much improved compared to the first Air Attack game, but it still is fun to play. Mission objectives are varied, there are 25 levels in the game, they are short and easy to beat but still fun to play. The locales are nicely designed, they combine the real world and the toy world. Overall, it's a short but sweet game. Army Man Green Rogue is a bad game, and it's not just me saying that. The controls are bad, it's more of an on-rails shooter, since once you go forward you can't return. Aiming is automatic and bad, and the game feels clunky. It's playable but boring. It can be fun only if you're bored, because the game itself, especially compared to the other games, is bad. The game isn't lazy, I mean it has CGI cutscenes, it's just that the gameplay doesn't attract. Army Man RTS is not a game suitable for hardcore RTS gamers, since it lacks that depth hardcore gamers seek. But for someone who just wants to play a game in this genre without feeling overwhelmed, then Army Man RTS is a great choice. It's basic but fun. The story is well written, cutscenes are fun, controlling combat units is fun, the resource system is great, and it's a great game for casual players. But don't expect much, it's very simplistic. Army Man Sarge's War is a decent game, but don't expect too much. Controls are still clunky, and the aiming is still bad. New to the franchise is the lock on option, but even if the target locks on, bullets still don't hit all of the time. Weapons don't have much care, sure, you can use different ones. There are plenty of different weapons in the game, but the execution kinda feels sloppy. Grenades for example show you the arc and the trajectory, but you can't adjust it. You, you can just throw it and it shows you where it will land. But still, even if the controls aren't good, they're better than in Green Rogue, so at least there's an improvement. Another point where the game is lacking is the camera control. It's terrible. Other than this, the objectives are good in the game. They are varied, you get primary objectives, which range from destroying fuel depots and attacking convoys to rescue hostages. There are also secondary objectives like finding the enemy warplanes or the enemy's flag that is hidden in each level. Enemy AI is brain dead but it doesn't hinder the game to be decent. The cutscenes and the story in general are okay. I mean the game tries to be serious but it also throws in funny lines. So story wise the game is a mixture of 
seriousness and goofiness or it's a game that tries to be serious but ends up goofy as the end result. There's also multiplayer in the game and here you get the standard deathmatch, capture the flag and flag control. The maps are also simple yet fun to play in and overall while the game doesn't impress and can be buggy and unpolished during play, it still is a decent experience. Army Man Major Malfunction is another bad game. The controls are the major cause of why the game is so bad. They are clunky and the auto aim feature is terrible. Not only that bullets don't always hit when you have a lock on, but the game locks onto the wrong enemies. On top of that, the camera control is also terrible. Good thing that the game is easy to beat, because otherwise it would have been too frustrating to squeeze some fun out of it due to the bad controls. The AI is also bad and the game makes a poor job explaining what you have to do. So overall, Army Man Major Malfunction is a bad game that you should avoid. Army Man Soldiers of Misfortune is another bad game. On first sight, the game looks polished, but it isn't. When you shoot enemies, for example, they don't react, which is a disappointing sight to see. Once you damage them enough, they will raise their hands in sign of defeat. Also, there are barely any sound effects in the game, but these are only minor inconveniences. What will frustrate you will be the controls. This game is ported from the Wii, and the devs tried to emulate Wii pointing controls with a controller. And the result is bad. The controls are bad and frustrating. There are some few people that praise these controls, but from what I've read in other people's reviews and from my experience, most complain about the control scheme. And me too. I'm in that boat too. For me, it's a game breaker. I can't stand the controls. As for the plot, you play as Timmy, a boy that has shrinked himself and now fights off 10 soldiers in his house. Objectives are boring, you have to go for example to find a number of supply crates or free your captured green allies and so on. Overall, the game is terrible. It might looked polished at first, but it isn't. The controls are bad, the objectives are boring, and the game lacks some details that make a game more fun.